How do you get other people to do things that you want them to do? How do you influence them? The first question is, how do you influence yourself? How do you get yourself to do things that you need to do? That you know that you have to do during your day? To have a productive day that you always want? I've seen a lot of people in my life who have been very successful and I think that they also have these answers from years of dedication and I think that there are a lot we could gain from those people. So today I tried the morning routine of Tim Ferriss. some push-up, jump rope, uh, stretching, so it was like 45 minutes that I worked out, um, yep, just about to go um, and take cold shower. After cold shower, I journaled. And um, I also used to do journaling. I've been doing it for like um, three years now. I think three, three to four years. Uh, what I do normally is I would write down uh, gratitude. So I would I would write down what I what I am grateful for today, what I'm thankful for today, and uh, I would write down my worries, like. In the morning, what worries do I have in my mind? So when I write down the worries, I would also find out what I can do to fix it. So the worries are usually the problems that I have. Um, if I can find the solutions, I would um, write it down and fix it later. Uh, fix it when I can. But I, there's nothing I can do about it. I just leave it like that. Just because it's out of my control. I just leave it to God. Um, so if, if there's some part of my worry that I can control, I would just write it down and do it every day. Um, so usually after I write those things down, I feel much lighter. I don't have no problems. Um, I do have problems and worries, but then because I just write it down and I, I find the solutions, I feel much more, uh, much much more peaceful. I would say after after writing, writing it down. Um, but oh, after that, I would write down my goals my goals for the day, or read my goals, like the goals that I have for the month, for the, for the week. Um, that's what I usually do. But what Tim Ferriss recommended is that first you write down your monkey mind, like write down um, whatever comes up. So I think it's, this is similar to my, my worries part, the, the, the part where I write down my worries. Um, but he writes down, he, he told us to write down monkey mind, whatever comes up, comes up in my mind. I did that and combined with my worries, um, worries channel. So, so I write down whatever comes up in, in my mind. So a lot of worries came up and uh, I fixed them. I try to fix them on paper. What Tim Ferriss recommends after monkey mind is to write down gratitude what you are grateful for and what, what you are thankful for for the day. I think this part is really important because I've been doing it for a while. 
when I started doing it, I can feel the effect. Like I can really feel the effect because I I really think about it when I started writing what I was grateful uh, at that time, and then after a while it became kind of automatic. So like I was I would just write down the same thing every day, like. Maybe I I thought that those things are the ones that I should grateful for, but it was not the the things that I was grateful for at the time. So I was just writing down the same thing every day that I'm grateful for this. So it became so automatic. I I wasn't thinking on that particular day that what I was grateful for. So I think it's very important to whenever you do gratitude、uh, journaling. You just have to think. Like you can, you can repeat things just because you should be grateful for them. Like you know. So if if think about it, and if you are really grateful for it, you know. So if you think about what you are grateful for, it will come up, and you can write it down, and it it will show you effect. So after after gratitude, according to Tim Ferriss, I have to write down. Um, the goals, the tasks, the things that I have to do during the day. So on one margin, I will write down everything that I have to do during that day. Like the to-do list, there would be like ten things or thirteen, fifteen things that I have to do on one margin. And on the other margin, he said to list top three priority. So top three, three things that you have to finish. The, the the top three things that you have to finish first, and the most important top three things. And if you finish those things, you are successful with your dream. If you finish more than that, it's much better. But if 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 you finish those three most important things in your day, that's that's good. That's good enough for the day. So I did that on one margin. Everything I have to do during the day. On the other one,、um, three top important things that I have to do. So, and after that, meditation for 20 minutes. And this is really hard、um, for me、um, because before I was using the the, the guided meditation app. Uh, like Sam Harris, or or I think there's another one called Tom or something.、Um, so they have kind of like a music that plays for for the meditation. I mean, I was always thinking the whole time for 20 minutes、uh, because because there's no one who will say, "Hey, don't think," or you know, because in guided meditation they would say, like, "Feel the sensation in your body." Things like that. So I think I would recommend using guided meditation apps、um, or something from YouTube or somewhere, so that you could,、um, so that you don't think so much 